Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Melvin, and I am the King of Sin. Today, we are going to be doing a review on another YouTuber's fragrance line. Now look, if it's your job to judge other people's fragrances and give your opinion on what someone's fragrance smells like, and you go out and decide to make your own fragrance line, all I gotta say is you better come correct. You better come correct, because I am going to be watching, I am going to be checking, and you better believe I am going to give my honest review on whatever you put out. And I normally don't do this, but you know what? Today, the gloves are coming off. People, the gloves gotta come off because I am sick and I am tired of getting robbed. Yep, straight up arm robbery. I wasted more money on two fragrances, but you know what? It's okay. Let me waste my money so you don't have to waste yours. I'm okay with it, guys. I am okay. So, we're gonna get right into it. I'm coming for this guy's throat. Normally, I don't say nobody's names, but when you put out a fragrance that I believe should be in the upper echelon of fragrances, because you should have a great nose, and you should be putting out a banging, banging scent. Man, look, we talking about gent scents. Yes, he has his own fragrance line. He's partnered with somebody else. I don't know, but we are talking about Gent Sense. He's a YouTuber, a fairly big YouTuber. <sighs> so today, let's get right into it. I'm not wasting time. I'm not going into none of the, the notes. We're just going off the presentation and what it smells like, performance, in my overall opinion, of two of the fragrances that Gent Sense has put out. Number one, Jet Black Enigma. Now, I've been watching Gent Sense for a while now, and it's 50 50. Most of the time, I do not agree on some of the fragrances that he likes. Sometimes I do. And it's because of YouTubers like this is why I started my own YouTube channel. To bring all of you the truth and give you 100% honest fragrance reviews with no holds barred. So, Jet Black Enigma. Now, first of all, let's take a look at this display. It looks like they went into a warehouse that's been abandoned since the 80s and found some cologne bottles that they used to bottle up Stetson or something there. I mean, the display is old fashioned. I'm not impressed with it. Really not impressed with it. You guys could have done better. Gent Sense, you could have done better, man. Of all the bottles in the world, you come up with this bottle. Not satisfied. I'm not happy. I was not impressed. Trash for the presentation. Straight trash for your presentation, brother. Now, let's get into this scent. I'm not going on skin with this no more, guys. I, I simply cannot do it. This does not deserve to go on my skin. I am not going to do it. I, you know what? Let me just spray it in the air real quick. Now, the scent. This reminds me of... Wow, man. Just something old school. This smells like something straight from the 80s. I mean, I guess this warehouse has some old cologne in there, I guess. You should have left it where it was. This stuff stinks. It smells too old school, old fashioned, completely boring. I do not want to smell like this. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to smell like this either. When your job is to judge other people's fragrances, you got to come correct when you drop what you call your fragrance line. This stuff is trash. It stinks. It smells like an 80 year old man. I will not be wearing this. I like to be fresh 
and clean and gent sense, man. Look, you are doing the people wrong. I, I understand you got to make money, but you could have done something better than this, man. This stuff simply stinks. It smells like an old used Cadillac. Nobody wants to wear this. I promise you, don't go out and waste your money on this. And if you hear Gen Sense promoting this stuff, don't listen to them. Please do not waste your money. I just wasted mine. But hey, man, let me waste my money so I can save you a couple dollars. And this is not worth the money. This is not worth it, Gen Sense. You have robbed us with this fragrance. You have robbed us with no mask. With no mask on, this man robbed me. So you know what? Trash, man. Get this thing out of here. I bought two fragrances. Two. Not one. Two, people. Two. Come on, man. Am I stupid? Am I stupid? I must be stupid, man. I blind bought this stuff. All off of his name. You know, you're a big time YouTuber, so I'm thinking, if he dropping something, man, it got to be a banger. I'm gonna blind buy it. <sighs> Let's get into this second one, man. Jen Sense, you wrong for this, man. You wrong. I want my damn, excuse me. I want my money back. Seriously, I want my money back. Again, another old 80s bottle that they found in some abandoned warehouse. Looks like it's been reformulated with Stetson in it. Not impressed at all. This is called Terra Nova. Terra Nova. More like a four-door Nova. This is more like a four-door Nova. Another worthless, worthless blind buy. And I am sick of it, man. Let's go ahead and spray this. Jeez. Now, this one smells like some lemon pledge. It smells like a household cleaner. It's almost dangerous to wear this on your skin, how bad it smells. It smells like you've been working and scrubbing toilets all day. <laughs> this way, this thing need to go. I'm going to crack the bottle on this, and I'm going to dump this right down the toilet, Jen Sense. Look at me, man. You got to come better than this, man. You are a famous YouTuber. You're talking about other people's fragrances all day long. And this is what you try to sell people, man? Really? You feel good about this? You and Michael Mule? I don't know what your, what your name is, but look. These are two trash fragrances. I think there are a couple more in this line. Look, if they smell anything like this, anything like this, they need to go. These two 1980s bottles need to stay in a vault where they was because they are not worth it. Jet Sense, you have let the people down. You have let the people down, man. I, I mean, I just can't get over this. How bad these two fragrances smell. One of them is born. It smells like a 85 year old driving a 1972 Cadillac with a pimp hat stuck to the side. Trash. And this one smells like some Lemon Pledge household cleaner that's probably going to make somebody sick from wearing it. Hey, look, peoples, man. I, that's my review for today. I apologize if I got out of character. I apologize. I am upset. I am upset. And you know what? I had to take the gloves off. Anytime I come across a fragrance that smells as bad as this, I got to let the people know. And trust me, there are a few more reviewers out there I'm coming for you too, man. I am here to protect the people. You guys need to go get some type of nose checkup if you think these fragrances smell good. Hey, look, my name is Melvin, the King of Scents. Thank you for joining me today. If you are not subscribed to my channel and you want honest reviews and you want the 100% guaranteed, straight up, 100% honest fragrance reviews, hey, look, subscribe to my channel right now. Hit that subscribe button. Hit them like buttons. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell button to get notified when I upload new videos. Hey, guys. Thank you once again. And I promise you, I'm taking the gloves off. I'm coming for these guys. I'm going to shut them down. Because, look, we family, and I got to protect you. And I got to 
to save you some money. And this trash has to go in the toilet, in the garbage they go. They're not worth giving to nobody. Because if I do give them to somebody, they're not going to like me. Hey, I'm going to catch you guys next time. See you later.